Welcome folks to Healers of the Earth episode 4 and today our episode is about something we are all aware of but too busy to think about it. Wet waste management. An impending doom not only for the environment but for our health. Do you know how much waste we are generating daily? 1 lakh metric tons. Out of that 70 to 80% is wet waste. Can you imagine what will happen if this issue is not addressed soon? A landfill the size of Bengaluru will be required by 2030. So I'm guessing instead of Orange City or Diamond City or Pink City will soon be having a wet waste city. And that will be one smelly city. Surely this is something no one will want. So in order to create an awareness and to give you all an insight on how best to control this menace, we have brought in our program one of the remarkable healers of the earth, Mrs. Ranju Minhas. Like all of us, she also realized the gravity of the situation, but then she acted upon it. Today, she has agreed to make us aware about it so that we can also take some action. Ranju ma'am, first of all, tell us what exactly is wet waste management and why is it required? Namaste. Uh, thank you for inviting me to share my experiences uh, on uh, management of wet waste. So here by wet waste we uh, understand is that it is the waste which uh, households are generating uh, in the kitchen. It's a kitchen waste and uh, kitchen waste constitutes about um, 70 to 80 percent of our uh, daily waste in any household. So if we learn to uh, manage this we will sort uh, you know to manage 80% uh, uh, of the total waste being generated in the cities so all of us have a huge role to uh, play in this and uh, we need all need to contribute towards a better environment this is really true ma'am we do need to do our bit in fact ma'am i too am trying to do it you know I collect the wet waste but feed it to the cows. Just a small step. Ma'am, exactly when and how did you start this project? I started this uh, work along with my team in 2014. Uh, we started with the uh, No Polybag campaign that was um, uh, to check the usage of polybags which was, uh, you know, choking our um, ecosystem. So it started with that and uh, we did a lot of campaigns with the uh, Redi Patriwalas, you know, uh, motivating them and telling them not to uh, give uh, vegetables in uh, poly bags. Uh, but uh, then they questioned us then, uh, you know, uh, what alternatives did we have to offer them? So we didn't have many at that time because uh, uh, people were not in a habit of carrying cloth bags and the cloth bags were not uh, available readily available in the market and uh, of course the the price was another factor and uh, usually people want uh, mm, they don't want to pay for the poly bag or the bag uh, you know to care, take back the vegetables so that was uh, another challenge and uh, so that is uh, this is where our campaign began and um, one thing led to another and it also set me thinking that uh, what why did people need uh, this poly bag? What what use did it have after once they take back the vegetables? So usually the housewives would uh, you know store these uh, poly bags for disposing of their waste, uh, and um, that is the normal trend, and they needed to be checked. And for checking that, uh, the best. Uh, solution was uh, why not uh, you know manage the waste at source itself so once we show value of this waste to people to household um, surely the, the the trend would change and uh, then we have to look at solutions how to do it and uh, you know what what were what is needed and how to it will be done so those uh, things followed. Managing the waste at the source, the housewife level. 
सो बेसिकली मैम इट्स अस हाउस वाइफ दैट कैन एक्चुअली सेव अ प्लानट आर यू लिसनिंग हाउस वाइफ वी कैन सेव द अर्थ लेट्स डू इट सो मैम वॉट वर द स्टेप्स टेकन बाय यू फॉर वेट वेस्ट रिमूवल after uh, researching on different uh, models uh, whether it was lane composting or pit composting community composting um, it was very clear that uh, in order for this movement to be successful uh, each household has to take its own responsibility of managing the uh, waste uh, so uh, and uh, this uh, uh, was very so and then came the uh, you know challenge of designing a proper uh, bin proper compost bin for uh, households and uh, what which capacity would work whether it has to be aerobic or anaerobic so uh, so it was a mix of both now the bin which i have designed it's a mix of uh, aerobic and anaerobic so where it's easier for the person managing it uh, to you know you don't have to manage because time is another constraint you know these people don't have time so so that minimal effort and time is needed and minimum space space is another constraint so space time and effort it has to be uh, you know minimal for managing waste only then we it's uh, it would be possible to encourage more households and individuals to adopt it and uh, once and also uh, it's important to uh, you know make uh, show people value in it actually it is not a waste it's a resource so how uh, best we can uh, you know reform that res- resource for our own use and then once that resource uh, it is reformed uh, into a new product so uh, which is of value to us so what happens is you are also saving money and um, and then other different associated benefits with it you know your your financial health your personal health and all those things uh, you know, the best model is the each household has to understand the uh, responsibility uh, of managing its own uh, wet waste this is actually hitting the nail on the head half the reason for non implementation of anything is space time effort living in small apartments working hard getting so tired that you don't want to do anything this is common man story and you ma'am are addressing that very issue even then you must have faced some obstacles in the implementation of this project so what were they we faced lot many challenges uh, first challenge is the breaking of changing of mindsets um, usually um, you know uh, the perception is that the waste cannot be managed at home you need a lot of space and uh, you know but but once um, uh, people uh, are made to understand that it is possible and uh, it it can be done, done in small space not much space is needed um, then uh, you know people do uh, once they learn they do adopt we have now number of households uh, uh, who are uh, have lost count uh, who are uh, doing their composting and also they are very happy with it when they are managing their own kitchen garden growing organic food uh, for self even if it is not food uh, you can easily grow a number of very uh, important herbs uh, which uh, you know you, you can uh, Uh, prepare green juice for your family uh, to you know boost up their immunity so that is one positive thing and also now the out of fruit waste and uh, flower waste uh, one can make uh, bio cleaners so we take classes for that also so um, and you can do away with all uh, uh, you know your toiletries and uh, common cleaning uh, uh, agents which you buy for your household so that saving lot of money so um, and uh, of course in community projects uh, the challenges are there like um, i said uh, uh, making people responsible for other people's waste is difficult 
and uh, to manage it also it can be done at the municipality level which they are doing it and uh, but uh, if households uh, take up this responsibility the problem of waste will get solved in no time actually it is not a problem and waste is a resource and uh, the earlier the people understand the better human mindset that is really a tough issue to resolve even though everyone is a fair yet i'm sure that in every indian household there will be one big bag in a corner and when you look inside there'll be lots and lots of poly bags am i right so hats off to you ma'am for managing it so well uh, tell us ma'am how can this initiative be started in our own areas i think each individual uh, has a very important role Uh, to play in spreading the message of uh, uh, waste wet waste management and uh, this uh, awareness uh, once a person uh, understands the whole concept and uh, sees the ease in composting or ease in managing uh, waste uh, definitely he or she would uh, spread the word among family members and uh, among the community uh, because first step is self awareness and uh, learning um, and uh, learning to do so you lead by example so once people in a community people see one household a few households successfully doing it uh, they uh, slowly it will catch on so and uh, one can hold uh, you know meetings in their own community and then uh, uh, showcase their own models so that is one way uh, each of us can uh, uh, spread this message and uh, you know each one it's like each one teach one uh, and uh, slowly i think uh, more and more households uh, understand that how important it is to manage wet waste and also i think uh, even before we come to managing uh, wet waste uh, we have to look at uh, when we are generating waste so let us not uh, generate toxic waste uh, which is uh, harming our uh, ecosystem and environment because here uh, now i think let's not talk about saving ev- environment it is about saving ourselves because our environment will take care of itself it is only human beings once sta- human beings stop interfering with the nature uh, nature will take care of itself it's only we uh people who have to understand that it is for our own uh, uh self uh, uh you know survival and the you know um survival of our future generation depends on this so let's all join hands together to uh, you know make it a big movement and uh, bring out a very uh, positive change in our environment thank you so friends seize the ease of wet waste management and start managing your own waste if you really care about the planet we thank you mrs ranju minhas not only for giving us your valuable time but also making us aware of this looming disaster and i am sure our viewers agree the prospect of wet waste city is certainly not acceptable So all you housewives out there tighten your belts and let's get started in implementing this project with Ranju ma'am's help let's save our earth see you in the next episode take care stay safe thank you